I've heard lots of people say, why would you be educating Aboriginal kids in elitist schools? All Indigenous people like to steal. Lazy. Dumb. We walk around with no shoes. Hunting kangaroos all the time. Mm. I can't let it get to me. I'm on the Gallery Scholarship, which is awarded to Indigenous children to go to a private school. Enjoy 2020, thank you. Families, they're willing to give up their child at 12 years old, send them thousands of kilometres away. That in itself is a challenge. There's so many questions to ask. When she was born and I saw how dark the colour of her skin was, I realised she would have enough challenges in this world if she didn't have the right education. I love you. My home and school is two different worlds, but I'm kind of joining the two worlds together. And that's hard. We are trying to build these kids up. Hands up if you want to be successful. So that they can have some influence on their communities and change. I just saw things that no youngster should really see. Reality is they might never go back to those communities. I kind of just want to be back at school, like I'm going back as soon as I can. And then sometimes you need to think, are we doing the best thing? Or are we not? My dream is to get into acting. My brother is not wrong. I want to become a teacher, so I work with special needs kids. Let your light shine. If we don't have opportunities on country, then how do they keep connected? It's kind of hard to continue to call myself Aboriginal when I don't really have much to show for it. I'm from Monaro tribe. Torres Strait Islander. Monero Nagari. But Captain Cook's the one who found Australia. Yes. The telescope and the foot up on the rock. Captain Cook. You don't realise it, but you have great influence. Children, are you in the great future? I will believe in myself with my whole heart. People doubt Indigenous Australians. I hope I can just push away that doubt a little bit and make people believe in us. Thank you.